Okay, here it is. The little Bullet Hero 125 of the beast that it is. Um, to ride, really nice. You get so much attention. Um, everyone's constantly staring at you going down the road asking you what size bike it is. As you can see, it doesn't look like a 125. It looks quite big compared to normal 125s. Um, the knobbly tires on it make it a bit slippery in colder, wetter weather. Um, in the summer though, it's pretty good. But when you're going along, it does actually sound like you're driving a tank up the road because the knobblies are so noisy. Um, exhaust, as you said in your um, comments, it is literally just an old uh, trapper exhaust type exhaust. Um, you take these baffles here out, uh, undo the undo the screws on the end, and I think the more you take out, the louder it is. Um, but due to being fuel injected, you've got to tamper with the injection, um, which I'm not overly capable capable of doing. Um, so I just leave it as it is. Um, it is quite loud, I'll start up in a minute so you can hear it idling, it is quite a thumper, so which is quite good. Um, because of the knobblies, it makes the back wheel look bigger than one of the little biscuit wheels you get. Uh, the engine is a little Suzuki GN engine, um, so it's really reliable. I've had this bike two years nearly, um, hasn't put a foot wrong. The only things that have gone wrong with it are um, the electrical bits around the speedo. Um, just some shorting on the wires other than that um, the engine's been pretty sound absolutely sound actually uh, as you can see you can't get panniers on it so it's a backpack or these little bags um, and you can only fit them where you can fit them there is no space to put anything literally on this bike uh, so yeah it's about 850 mil high it's about 900 mil wide at the handlebar so it gives you quite a good stance when you ride in um there were normal wing mirrors on here but they're like so high above the shoulder um makes it really difficult to see so i just added the uh the little uh, handlebar wing mirror it gives it that retro look which is pretty good so yeah there she is absolute beast top speed about 65 i've had about 70 out of it on a good day off the lights it's quick but it's not the quickest one two five um it's just more loud and mainly pretty to look at than it is for speed um i do take it to a lot of the bike nights where i am locally um and all of the older guys that are into the retro looking bikes are um they're always hovering around it and asking about it so yeah it's a bit of a beast um more people should have one around my area i think there's only maybe have a two or three, including this one. So, um, you know, when it's going down the road, a lot of people are quite quite keen to know what it is or just have a look and talk about it. So, uh, yeah, good bike. A lot of uh, good rides on it. Um, quite comfortable on long rides, which is quite surprising given that the seat's not overly thick, but he's quite comfy. Um, so, yeah, I'll start up so you can uh, hear the old thumper. Uh, on this one, I'll just have to put you down because you've got to hold in the clutch with this and start the engine up. So bear with me two secs. So there you go, the old Bullet Hero. And the good thing about it is I think they're looking at bringing a 400cc uh, version out of this bike. So be a bit more beefier, a bit bigger. That I can't wait for um, if I'm doing a big boy test.
I think that's what I'll stick with. They do do a 250 called the Blue Rock V2. That's a pretty cool bike as well. Sounds absolutely amazing. Um, really good bike. I think people should look more into them. I think they're a Belgian company, but they were made, the engine and the parts were made in China, but the, the actual company are Belgian. So um, get on their website, have a look at the stuff they do. Really cool little bike. I mean, some of the attention, the details on it with like the, I mean, the, the bash guard at the front. I mean, that's a hefty bit of kit um, just for a 125. But, you know, it's a great little feature. It gives that gives that kind of retro look to the bike. It is absolutely amazing off-road. Um, that's, that's that I can tell you for sure. Um, off-road, it's so good. Um, not that I've done much of it, but I know that when I've been riding around on the grass or going up lanes, because where I live, it's all uh, country lanes. Um, it handles so well if there's any slippery mud or if there's any bit of loose road, really good. Um, so yeah, have a look into it. There's a lot of videos out there, not as many as I think there should be, but there's enough to really kind of get a gauge on what these bikes are about. So hopefully this was okay. You know, I've never done a video like this before. I've never talked about a bike, so hopefully it's all pretty good. There she is, old good old Darcy.